Hello, everyone. We are so glad that you're here to join us with our seven-day devotional. And today's topic is detoxifying your thoughts. So first, I would like to pray. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for each one that is watching and listening to your word today. Let your word sink in deep into our spirit, into our soul, Lord God. And Lord, let it be planted that it may bear much fruit. Father, we thank you, Lord. Bless this time and bless each one. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So detoxify your thoughts. And first of all, let's go into detoxify. Um, a quick meaning. It says to rid of poison or the effect of poison. Poison. So many things in our lives today that could just poison our minds. And that's what we're talking about today. Detoxify our thoughts, right? Um, to treat a person addicted to alcohol or drugs under a program of detoxification. So detox means to get rid of that poison, to rid yourself or rid of the effect of the poison, right? Um, first point I want to bring up is number one, roaming. Okay, so roaming means to travel purposefully, unhindered, through a wide area. See, the thing about the enemy is he has a purpose. He is roaming. Let's go to 1 Peter 5, 8. 1 Peter 5, 8. And it says, be alert. Come on, everybody. Be alert. It says, be on the watch. So we're not trying to have our thoughts just sleep and go with the flow. We need to be alert. We need to have a purpose. Why? The, it says your, your enemy, he's your enemy, the devil, roams around like a roaring lion. Dangerous, right? Looking for someone, anyone, looking for you to devour. So he's roaming around looking for you to devour you. And first of all, he's going to go to your thoughts. That's exactly where he's going to go first. But like it or not, if you are a believer, then you are automatically enlisted in God's army. You are a warrior. Yes, you are a warrior. Warriors are alert. They're watching where their enemies are coming from. And we are definitely in a fight. And the battle front, yes, the front line is your mind. That's where it, that's where it starts. It's our minds. And there is a war for your attention. The enemy throws fiery darts, temptations, lies, distractions, and a whole arsenal of weapons your way to cause you to forget about God's word. Forget about what he told you. Forget about what you read. Forget about what he said. And this is his job. This is the enemy's job. So we can't, if I had something to underline, I would underline that word. We can't allow, permit. We can't allow thoughts to just roam around in our minds. Not every thought originates from you. You know, the enemy, he throws those fire darts. But also God is competing for your attention. Isn't that right? And so we need to be on watch and we need to check those thoughts. We must check our thoughts and align them with God's word. You wouldn't just let a, a thief come to your door and knowing that he's there and open your door and say, oh, what are you doing here? No, you wouldn't. You would check him at the door. No, sir, you're not coming in my house. And the same with our temple is our house. We need to check our thoughts at the door. Say, no, no, you're not coming in. Second point, knock it down. What do I mean by that? Let's go to 2 Corinthians 10, 3 and 4. It says, we are human, but we don't wage war as humans do. We use God's mighty weapons. God's mighty weapons. Well, guess what? He knows how to fight the enemy better than we do. So let's use his mighty weapons not worldly weapons, to knock down the strongholds of human reasoning. Yeah, that means your own reasoning, your own thoughts, the things you tell yourself. Human reasoning and destroy every false argument, every false deception that comes your way. It doesn't line up with God's word. Knock it down. We come against these thoughts that don't line up with God's word 
or not like Christ. And we cast them, we knock them down, right? That's what we do. That's what God's word says we do. Don't let or allow your thoughts to just run you. They just run you. No, don't let your thoughts do that. Don't let them lead you. Don't let them run you. You decide what you're going to think on. The choice is ours. We get to choose what we think about. Philippians 4.8, it says, And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think on these things that are excellent and worthy of praise. So God is so good that he even tells us to knock down our own thoughts, the own deception, the, the re human reasoning, but then he tells us, what to think on. Think on these things, things that are true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, those kind of things. That's what we need to do with our thoughts. And so that brings us to number three, and it's fix your thoughts. And who is God talking to? Fix your thoughts. He's talking to you. He's talking to me. We're the ones that decide to fix our thoughts. So fix means to direct the eyes, the thoughts, the intention, etc., steadily. Not hit and miss, not every now and then, but steadily, constantly. Keep watch. Keep alert. Isaiah 26, 3, it says, you will keep in perfect peace. Isn't that something that we all want and need today? Keep in perfect peace. All. Does that mean you? Yes, that means you. That means me. All who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you, Lord, we thank you. And if you're searching for peace today in this troubled time, in this time of pandemic and worry and thoughts roaming, if you're searching for peace, God has provided it. It is yours. It belongs to you. You got to take it. You have to choose to think on those things. It's in his word and in his presence that we find his peace. So I want to pray um, for each and every one of you right now. Father, I thank you, Lord, that those that have heard your word today, Lord, that we would grasp it, that we would watch for the enemy. And Lord, we would know that he is, his job is to roam around prowling, trying to fix our thoughts on things that are bad, things that are horrible in our lives. But God, I thank you, Father, that Lord, you say we can fix our thoughts on you. So I ask you right now, God, that you would just infuse your word, Lord, on those that are hearing. Father God, we thank you, Lord, that Lord, your word is true. Your word works. So we thank you. I send your word out and it will not return void, but Lord, it will produce what you have caused it to produce. I thank you now in Jesus name. Amen. All right, everyone. I love you. Take care.